Well, well, well. We are heading out right before Hurricane Matthew, but we're on the west coast instead of the east coast. If we were on the east coast right now, I'd have a complete different uh, mindset. I know it's going to get a little windy here. Uh, a little rough tomorrow. But, uh, hey, we're going to give it a shot today. I got some clients from Germany. And uh, we're going to see what we can catch. Uh, tide looks like it's going to get pretty low on us. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. We're going to run up to the causeway and see if we can find us some bait. Let's see how it goes. So far we've had about, I don't know, 12 to 15 snook bites, none of them big, I mean pretty small, like 12 inch small. So now we're heading on to our second spot, we're fishing over out of Fort Myers Beach area, hurricane fishing. go my man this is where you're supposed to hold it really close to the camera so it looks humongous you push it towards the camera it looks way big <laughs> good job there you go man you are showing them how to do it you better step up better step up Heinz Heinz got nothing to say you got something to remove you because it's deep Ah, nice job. See, you've learned. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't think that a hurricane's coming right now. Actually, it looks pretty gorgeous here on the west coast. Yeah, I know, I know. It's hitting the east coast. So, if you're wondering what it's like to fish right before the hurricane and on the other side of the coast and how good the bite is or isn't we had an outgoing tide all day today and um, the water's terribly dirty I mean you can see the bottom but I mean you can see these rocks but you can't see much past that but uh, I think the bite was okay I think we caught 15 or so snook and we probably caught 15 more catfish to go with it <laughs> so we caught about 30 fish got a snapper uh, and my clients today were German and they didn't speak almost I'm gonna say they didn't speak any English they could understand a few words that I said but for the most part I was just talking to myself and they've actually fished with me before and check out our leftovers What's up, Bob? Y yes, sir. All right, so we caught a bunch of bait. And it got all stuck into my net. So I got to clean that out now. And we probably had somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 bait. So now you can tell that the water is not very salty because the bait aren't doing so hot here in the river. It was packed up earlier. 
So, all in all, I'll call it a success. And uh, remember, hey, you guys, check out the uh, Salt Life channel. You see the gear we wear all the time. If you want some of these clothes, you can check them out at the website, saltlife.com. Salt Life Optic Glasses. We do all kind of neat stuff with their clothing. You know what? I wear long sleeves pretty much every show. One reason, if you guys watched the show where I got the cancer cut off my back, um, you got to cover yourself up when you're out here in the sun all the time. So check them out. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit the little bell next to subscribe which will give you the notifications because right now we got 116,000 plus subscribers and I don't even know if we have a thousand people that are getting the notifications that's really not very many that's less than one percent of the people are getting the notifications but I want you to get the notification so if you are a new subscriber please click the bell so you will get notifications when our videos come out and they come out every day 7 30 p.m every day a new video Mondays Wednesdays Fridays Saturdays and Sundays are all vlogs Tuesdays and Thursdays are new fishing shows got that new fishing shows Tuesdays and Thursdays and if you want to see all the other stuff you know what we do day in and day out what we do when we do charters which today's a vlog so check it out enjoy it and if you stay to the end of the video we really appreciate it thank you very much Godspeed. We'll see you tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. <laughs>